Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. If you're just joining us, this is Y in the morning. My name is Ram Maguko. Now, uh, according to statistics, between the year 2011 and the year 2019, there were 265 Al-Shabaab-led attacks in the country. An estimated of 10% of the group's militants are thought to be Kenyan nationals. Uh, largely reflected uh, are those of uh, men who are in difference in ideology grievances over socio-political and economic circumstances. Now, this morning, we shall talk about violent extremism. We shall also talk about radicalization of the youth. This topic on national security has been an important or a factor, especially when it comes to ensuring that the country's security is, uh, uh, is, 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 is ensured. Do you feel safe? What is it that we can do as a nation to protect ourselves? What can we do to improve the security of our country, of this nation? This morning, I'm joined by Kevin Jawor, next to me. He is uh, from the Pro 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 uh, Protective Security and Defense Department at the National Counter-Terrorism Center. Karibu sana, Kevin. Thank you very much. Evan. And I'm also joined by Robert Ochola, uh, the uh, countering uh, violent extremism expert. Karibu sana, Robo. Safi sana, brother. Remember, we are live on our website, www.y254.co.ke. That is where you can find us. If at all you want to watch us live at Y254 channel on Twitter, the hashtag is Y in the morning at Ram Aguko. Make sure that you give us your thoughts about this. How can we counter <coughs> violent extremism? And that is the question. Now, gentlemen, Karim Sana. Thank you very much. Uh, before we come to Gina Nisana, let's talk about uh, NCTC. Yes, okay, yes. what is NCTC all about? Good. Uh, NCTC is a multi-agency instrument mm -hmm. uh, that coordinates counterterrorism efforts uh, in the Republic of Kenya, mm -hmm. and uh, it is located at the executive office of the president. And of course, it is staffed by very experienced uh, members from the M uh, MDS, the ministries, department, and agencies. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, it, uh, any department, de uh, ministry, department, and agency that uh, leads on uh, fight on terrorism. So, and it, it focuses on aligning the operational uh, needs with the Kenya national strategies and policies. And uh, with time, we're going to talk more about uh, the strategies, the mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, counter-violent extremism uh, strategies mm -hmm. uh, in detail. Okay. So basically, mm -hmm. we have uh, our mandate mm -hmm. that is given by the Security Law Amendment Act of 2014. Mm -hmm. And it gives NCTC a legal coordinating mandate uh, for counter-terrorism. Mm -hmm. We normally conduct uh, public uh, awareness on prevention of terrorism mm -hmm. and also we facilitate in capacity building uh, uh, in city and prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we develop strategies in counter uh, radicalization that foster de radicalization. Okay. That okay. Uh, Robo will, exp uh, will explain in detail. Right. Basically, uh -huh. that deals with uh, disengaging a person who has been radicalized, mm -hmm. uh, rehabilitating that person, and uh, reintegrating him back to the society. Mm -hmm. And also, mm -hmm. we coordinate with other government agencies. Okay, in uh, providing security certification for aviation uh, uh, schools. Uh -huh. yes. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, interesting, interesting. So that is what NCTC is all about. That is a nutshell. What NCTC in, is all in about. a nutshell, yes. you, you you have quite a mandate. Yes. You have quite a mandate. Yes. Uh, let me come to you, Robo. Yeah. Sasa, to you know, we, are, we may be talking about very big things here. Yeah. Radicalization, <laughs> extremism, just in a nutshell. Yeah. Ju -ju yeah. What is it that you are talking about when you say radicalization of the youth mm -hmm. and when you're talking about violent extremism popo sana ram mm -hmm. and i think kwanza ram and mm -hmm. congratulate kwa isho mm -hmm. you do a very good job Thank and you. also for this very very important uh, discussion mm -hmm. this morning because mm -hmm. indina determine vile country yetu ita, itaenda not yeah. only our country but also the world ukiangalia of late mm -hmm. now that statistics umetupatia mm -hmm. unaona mambo si poa sana, si poa sana e, especially mm -hmm. na vijana because mm -hmm. at the end vijana ndo watumika mm -hmm. so radicalization ni 
e, basically ni kutupishwa rada hiyo ndo definition yake kwa sheng wewe <laughs> yeah huh? yeah kutupishwa rada because our to uh, ni kuingia kwa thoughts za mtu uh-huh. eh, then wa try ku give za thoughts zako zingie line flani mm-hmm. no line sana sana wa gani negative mm-hmm. so leo anakuja anakuambia tuseme kevoni mtu mbaya mm-hmm. kesho anakuja anakuambia kevoni mbaya juu ameva blazer kisho kuto kuja kukuambia kevoni unaona also wako consistent wako consistent na wana kuchocha na, na kitu flani mm-hmm. alafu iko very deliberate iko planned mm-hmm. na iko sustained such that after a while pia wewe unakaa sasa unaanza kuongea vile wale walikuwa naongea au toki kwa hiyo line hata mtu kama ku convince eh ni aje kevu ni jama mpoa wewe kwako ni ni jama mbaya sana mm. unaona so radicalization kutupishwa rada na inachukua form mingi na ni kitu ina stay ina, ina stages tofauti so so, so hii radicalization yenye unasema ni, ni, ni kama tu kwenda shule letu exactly unaambiwa this ni hivi na ni hivi but they are consistent they are very very consistent but it's like the, they are organized in a way very organized but the problem na radicalization radicalization at the tail end hmm. outcome ni negative si positive unaona okay, hiyo okay. ndo blanda outcome but, mwisho tail end cause your process ni steps leo una hmm. wanaanza soft hmm. but the time wafike mwisho akili yako ilishabadilika kabisa utajua tu kikomite ni atrocity utakuwa na uko right and i wonder you you, you said that uh, radicalization has different uh, stages yes. ndio yeah. we will ta- we will touch into that but now um, to, if to to guzia guzia to juju pia kevin this radicalization that you're talking about what is it in in your experience working at the nctc is so are, are some of the causing factors of uh, radicalization uh, in the republic of kenya mm. we have got uh, so many just to uh, just to mention a few mm. uh, causes of why people are radicalized mm. and among uh, especially among the youth of course utasikia watu wanasema juu tumesota tukaingia hakuna do hakuna do okay hatuna job hakuna job sisi hakuna employment mwingine <laughs> <laughs> aseme under employment na sikia ile qualification mimi niko nayo nafaa kuwa nafanya job flani mahali ndio msema aka aka chop aka pata degree job aka na degree yake aka na masters hakuna job apate msema anamwambia ni aje kuja na hiyo knowledge yako utapata job unapata wengi wanafuata interesting uh, wengi wengi ya mayuth wanaingia kwa sababu ya chapa wanasema hakuna chapa mm. alafu kuna zile channels ambazo wanatumia sasa hizi because of the obvious reasons ya covid wasi wengi wako mtaani eh, unapata watu wengi wako juu ya masimu mm-hmm. unapata sasa through such things like the media what vijana wengi wamekuwa wanakuwa radicalized for simple reason unatafuta job na because ule 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 violent extremists ako pale anangoja wale watu ambao hawana job unapata eh, wana promise na kumlua na opportunity za kumpatia job lakini shida ni wasema wanataka do what wanataka do ni kunoma no eh hiyo mabojo pia you you've seen it as a factor yeah, ndio yeah unajua kuna story mob especially kwa circle isi kwa manjio wale kama mm. kazidi zigawanya mara mbili mm. wakazita push and pull factors mm. unaona so push ni hizo ma vitu kama hizo job issues like job ina post kama twenye ina bid kanenge hizo ndo tu at you specially kwa nao unaona exactly alafu sasa kuna hizo pull factors unaona sijui ma grievances gani unaona structure road injustices ili vitu zina hata wewe mwenyewe ukikamu auelewi lakini ndio unatupishwa rado unaingizwa unaingizwa nayo but eh, ukikam ukiingia kwa mamta hata si mta peke yake tukienda kampo vile tu bro, brother amesema hapa hmm. uko kampo unakumbuka eh, nini um, Garissa University eh si hey. ni boy wa kampo ndali aliorganize wenzake waende wa na akakuwa yenda Khalid si ndio mm-hmm. so naishindu jamaa budake kwanza alikuwa jamaa na wako poa family mm. kopoa wanadupoa so so employment i see reason all so, the time so i see reason all the time so mm. yeye alipigwa na Kiswahili ngine mm. maybe alambua wewe unapiga hii job unangana na chuo mm. ukitoka opportunities tena kwa watu wengine si wewe unaona maybe akambua unaona eh, kitu budako anafanya gava maybe umefanyia watu fulani si poa unaona so wewe mm. unafu fight against you unaona mm-hmm. toka muongeza kia hapo then ku, 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 kuna 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 zile tu vijana wana form tani vijana mm-hmm. na shuli ya kufanya huko mm-hmm. kwa tu unaona so uki, kama huko hauna shuli akili yako unajua hapo iko na iko holo 
unaona mm. so hapo ndo anakaa mwana feedin sasa mwana feedin hapo because yeah. because wamepata opportunity exactly. kuna gap yenye wamepata so mm-hmm. they wana maximize na hiyo gap wana wamepata yeah. actually hiyo gap we can consider that, that gap as, a, as your weakness it's a weakness yeah. very big weakness yeah, because uh, ile challenge kali sana uh, ni ya kwamba youths hawaelewi uh, terrorism ni nini Mm-hmm. That is why the push and pull factors kikupata unakuwa load uingie into something ambayo huelewi because of the of the of the of the promises that umepatiwa. Mm-hmm. Now that is why we come in as the NCTC ambao mm-hmm. tunafanya more of uh, capacity building uh, kuweza ku empower youth not only youth but uh, all persons within the Republic of Kenya mm-hmm. ya kwamba uh, terrorism is real it is there it is among us that radicalization happen among us our youth na ni kwa sababu hawaelewi hiyo ni nini the push and pull factors ikipata mtu mwenye mind yake haina hana focus mm. and inakuwa rahisi kufanya kuingia into your terrorism so that is why now the center iko pale strategically kuweza ku empower watu kuweza kufanya capacity building kuweza ku uh, public awareness mm-hmm. ya kwamba terrorism is there mm-hmm. na uh, we ought to have you know that spirit for uh, for, for for being a kenyan And, 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 and I like what you said you ought to have the spirit of uh, being a Kenyan yeah, patriotism patriotism lakini umesema watu wengi hawaelewi terrorism ni nini people watch movies a lot of movies mm. and sometimes you get ideas crazy ideas from you know the blockbuster movies that we get about to to you was you mentioned something about violent extremism sidio hiyo ni nini specifically violent extremism sana ni kuhaba feelings attitude na mm-hmm. unataka ku take action mm-hmm. against something you say you go to when you extremism normally mm-hmm. sansa not waga jana jana kulikuwa na game ya liverpool na na chelsea mm-hmm. sio ndio mm-hmm. eh, chelsea liverpool wakakula walikula ngapi ni tatu ama nne <laughs> so kuna, kuna vile kuna mafans wa liverpool wale sugu najua litukana na mbaya najua liteta sana najua wengine hata walisema club must go wanasema au ni madai au ni kabisa au ni liverpool damn exactly you sound extremism malizo mm-hmm. umeingia mahali wewe ni una feelings mzito na kama wewe kama ni gor kama ni wewe ni gor damn gor damn gor wa ki draw unanyoshana gor wa ki <laughs> wakiweko unanyoshana una check eh unaona yani ni kama una stakes kwa team uh-huh. wewe kocha atakujui Liverpool iko mbali lakini wewe uko hapo kwa mtandao jo unateta sana Klopp must go sijui squad ingepangwa aje aje eh keep exactly na wife ba, eh, kabisa kuna watu mbaka uko mid suicide <laughs> si ndio na kuna watu wameuana kuna watu wana wame lose a lot jo team iko hiyo sando extremism saa hiyo pande ukifika mali unaenda kuwa wife mm. ama unajiteki ama unapiga piga watu hiyo sando na kama na kwa violent sasa. extremism mm. unacheki mm. mm. mali seme pita mali excess ex- mali unataka ku take an action a violent mm. action mali unataka kuumiza mtu mali unaweza umiza mtu mali unaweza uwa mtu ama ujiue mm-hmm. kuchikile ile action yako hiyo sando violent mm extremism oh, you, you, you've met guys as you interact with the public you've met such kind of cases yes mm-hmm. uh, so many cases unapata uh, we have people who are radicalized but not yet violent extremism they are not extremist yet but mm-hmm. uko kwa process as robo had mentioned earlier mm-hmm. radicalization process uh-huh. so you can be radicalized yes, but, but not, you're not an extremist you're not an extremist yeah. lakini una support hawa watu kama vile mimi naweza kuwa ni Uh, die hard wa maniu mm. all right lakini ikitingwa iki, iki ni sawa sitaenda kujinyonga sitapeleka vurugu kijani unaona ikitinga ama ikitingwa ni sawa ni sawa life inaendelea life inaendelea mm. sasa luta sasa yeah, luta sasa yeah, luta anza kuteka stand uh-huh. yes. new stand ikwe farm hapo sandu extremism ni ingilia uh-huh. yeah. yeah. uanze kufanya vitu kabisa mm-hmm. in the name of kuda support the ideology is about that ideology yes. right. because extre- extremism is not just about uh, maybe uh, a team or something it's about an ideology what you believe in what to believe in or what you are made to believe to believe i love sasa hapa ndio inaingia ukamu sana na pande mbili religion na politics nice hapo sasa unasema mimi mfano wa this this politician na manini unasema mko tayari kukufia mtu exactly So ajuki cheki tuseme pande ya ball utapata mm. violence ukam 
spontaneously maybe kwa game kitu tu ile happen ref nini mm-hmm. but ingine wagimepangwa inapangwa vizuri sana watu wana italianization exactly kuna, kuna mtaneza kana kijana sasa hii anampangia kitu anatakafanya maybe 2024 ananza naye sasa hii ndio anaanza kumradicalize pole pole na kama ku extremist akuja pande mpaka kwa violent alafu mwishowe akutero uh, akuja ku terrorist no mm-hmm, the four mm-hmm. stages mm-hmm. so hii ni kitu unaanza kuwekewa kwa kichwa ndani unaanza ku adopt unaanza ku adopt feelings kwanza mm-hmm. anakuingiza upendizo feelings alafu attitude attitude mm-hmm. yako ina change mm-hmm. inaanza kuwa attitude yako inaanza kuwa kama yake mm-hmm. na vile anataka mm-hmm. tukia wale usifanye hii mm-hmm. ingia hapa usifanye unaona mm-hmm. alafu mwishowe anataka hiyo attitude yako kuchukua nao action unaona so hapo mm-hmm. ile action uta take which uh, normally ni violent hapo ndo unakuja unakuwa an extremist alafu ile action uta take unakuwa terrorist okay, and any, um, so how can we minimize radicalization of uh, the youth in fact before before i get to uh, I get to answer that question mm-hmm. ningetaka ku add to what robo amesema mm-hmm. unapata violent extremists who wanna exploit Uh, youth eh? between yes. 15 and 25 sana sana mm-hmm. watu ambao wako in their normative uh, age age kwa pa, target of uh, 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 kwa hiyo ka group hiyo ka age group because pale bado unaendelea ku <coughs> to develop unaendelea ku develop na kujitambua all right mm-hmm. so wana wakikucapture na mapemo at your normative age inakuwa rais wewe ku grow na ile kitu that is why robo amekuta amesema eh, wanaanza na wema mapema project inaweza kuwa ni ya 2030 all right lakini sasa hizo wamekuona wame wame notice uko na uh, potential mahali mm-hmm. all right wewe you are easily lured wewe ni mtu uko bright mm-hmm. wanaanza kukunacha na mapema mm-hmm. all right it takes mm-hmm. time pole 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 by the time inafika hiyo time umesha hiyo yes. all right uko tayari kukutuma job all right because your process it may take it may take time and and and, and still yeah Bef- before to tongelele hiyo hiyo yes. swali yeah. yeah. still yeah. on that because you reminded me of something i am able to pick one point mm-hmm. is that the tag the target is mostly the vulnerable and the weak yes when you're vulnerable is when you're still young at age yes. and uh, weak in mm-hmm. any area it could be financial weakness psychological weakness mm-hmm. mental weakness mm-hmm. as a happened when i take advantage of you mm-hmm. from what you're saying true yeah. rama up umeingiza poa na vile amesema kuna kitu inaitwa individuation ni amesema kujitambua mm-hmm. hiyo ni very very big unapata kijana ajitambui ajimeze nani especially now kikam kwa easy communities mm. unapata maybe anatoka kwa broken family sana sana unapata wengi wale wali recruitiwa wanatoka kwa single mother families mm-hmm. ama families ko broken buda wali divorce nini nini unacheki mm. families zile zina role model which is mainly sana sana kwa maboy ni mabuda so buda wali divorce ama li daddy ama ama ayuko tu eh so kijana ki wa teenager especially uh-huh. kwa 12 years uh-huh. anaanza kuji align na na, na kijana na buda fulani ndio pata kitambo ata crime violent crime ilikuwa mob juu kijana ma criminals walikuwa nakuja wanashikilia <laughs> wanataka ku recruit uh-huh. so anonu kijana eh huyu mchukue ana buda so kijana ata look up to to ye kujiji so, ni father figure eh, fa- exactly so unapata ta au eh, extremists ni the same broken families zingine ni education wanapenda sana for foot soldiers wanapenda sana vijana wame drop out of chuo ama wa matruant wa tendigi chuo you already wanaona ana kasoro fla kasoro flani so hata kama take advantage ya hiyo ingine wanapenda vijana already wako kwa hizi delinquency hizi crime crime dogo ndogo unaona kijana uiba hapa anaiba pale anachukua exactly mm. unacheck already ushaingusha kwa na criminal mind Then wanapenda sana wale wanatumia drugs pia. Yuko unatumia drugs akili yako inaweza geuzwa rais. Vitu simple ka veve. Kama uko under 18 mtu wangu wale watu wanajua ku, kukuingiza line nayo. Hata kununulia hata kana we. Salimu nashikisha ndio anakuchocha akili. Unaona? Then kuna kuna issue pia hizo social economic ampoa job kwa community ya mtambuliki amwambiliki hakuna mtu anakuambia unaona hizo ndo gap na feel alafu extremism so ina kama hiyo issues of psychosocial unaona mali hauko poa pia kiakili so anaweza kuingia hapo and kiraisi and this is why we, we want to urge all our youths all our youths those who are watching even this discussion pia ni nzuri kwa kwa maparo pia juu unajua uko na youth youth mwingine mmoja wako pale anakuwatch know yourself 
jitabue yeah. otherwise someone will take advantage of your vulnerability mm -hmm. and maximize on it because wewe ni kama a clay sasa because you are vulnerable sasa anakumold venye yeye anataka anataka na vile alisema kivo sikudanganyi a age kuanzia especially wale wako 14 ukipata ma report vijana wengi wale walisafirishwa kwenda uh, Somalia hmm. wali of late ni 14 years of age 14 14 then kuna kitu bigi sana eh, ile important one of the most important peer pressure na kama kila hata tukiwa chuo unaambiwa wewe mnachochana ki group ila hata ila hata mkiwa eh mkiwa mtaani mkiwa mtaani buda kimezea kuna kijana mmoja ni wa mrako wa group anakuambia sitaki kuona ni ile group jo anajua mtachochana unacheki so hii unapata kijana mmoja kama me recruitiwa ule recruiter ana pressure mob atatumia tu kijana kwenda kuchocha wenzake na hapo ndo unapata wengi wakienda au enda in groups sana sana four wakiwa kidogo ni 3 3 4 3 4 Kevin kwa hiyo process yote sasa i think we can now come come come, come back to, 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 to that other question yes. to try reduce aje events kama hizi now that we know that these are the vulnerable groups how can we minimize that very good questions uh, first things first from the national counterterrorism center mm. kuna kitu tunaitwa national strategy to countering violent extremism eh? mm -hmm. ambayo iko na pillars na among the pillars kuna ile ndo soko social pillar kuna educational pillar mm. kuna media media and uh, media and online pillar mm. eh, pillars ni kama kumi namna hii alright now kuna arts and culture first things first is to empowering these youths through education understanding that uh, this in their tentative age wanaendelea ku grow through that una, una feed na a lot of information on being patriotic all yes. this goes to being patriotic mm -hmm. because mtu akipenda country yake hata ikienda namna gani atakuja kujelewa aseme hapana ama Kenya mm -hmm. I need to fight for my country hii siwezi fanya hii siwezi fanya mm. pia mm. kuna wale maadhi ambao wamekuwa radicalized ambao bado hawajakuwa uh, violent extremist it is very very paramount for them wapitishwe through hii psychosocial pillar nasema wapitishwe through such na uh, vitu ambavyo zinaweza counter zile narratives ya kwamba Uh, whatever you've been taught whatever umekuwa mm. ukiambiwa about this thing is not true mm. all right so kuna hizo national strategy to counter violent extremism mm. zimekuwa castigated yeah, to, to county level na kwa kila county kuna kile kinaitwa county action plan mm. na wadosi wote wa wa, wa ma county wanazitambua kabisa because ni kitu ilikuwa rolled up president akapitisha mm. mm -hmm. so what we are saying ni kila county ina amba, inayatambua iko na youth na kuna hiyo cup ambayo inapatia youth empowerment in terms of training and capacity building pia kuna issues za uh, uh, ya, ya education pillar in the education pillar uh, unapata sema primary sema college sema uh, sema high school college zote kuna uh, product ya nctc inaitwa csev uh, child safety against uh, violent extremism mm. csev eh? mm. with the csev ina inakubali uh, kama ni mode acheki kuna kijana hapa linaona haiko fiti Alright inakupatia element ya kwamba akiona kitu ambayo kuna change uh, in behavior of particular student there is a procedure on how you are supposed to handle such a person mm -hmm. so uh, this what we have been uh, it has been rolled out it is already there and it's already operational and this what we are saying we are telling uh, what what across across, across board alright particularly while in the learning institutions ya kwamba you see something in your uh, among your students as a teacher mm. alright please report early in advance All right. Mm -hmm. You see something any changes kama mzazi nyumbani please report because along the way ukianza kuwa radicalized kuna signs ambayo mtu utaona kabisa au mtu hii ama uboi wangu ame change. Ame change. All right. Uh, uh, Issue kutseme talk of, of, of campus mazee vijana wana cross. Ile serious. Eh? Uh, through ile peer pressure. Na ni wengi. This is what we have been doing for the last couple of years and trust me vijana wamepigwa wako wengine ambao sio so, uh, and, 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 and I, i wonder we've been doing this for so, for so many years you yeah. know success rate na chindwa isc inaendelea je but so so far brother yeah. skudanga enda kumbia hii kitu ni kuvuta ni kuvuta mhm mm as much as huku tunakuwa na joku na gava pia mm. siko community tunapiga shughuli yetu mm. na sana sana si yetu kwanza inaanza na conversation mm. unajua kuchanua community mm. eh aje kuna hii kitu na ukijana bila kwa sababu kuna hizo signs mm. kuna kijana alikuwa gamu active 
yuko amechangamka kidogo jo amekula amenyamazaga yuko kwa kona peke yake hmm. kwa simu alikuwa gana cheka cheka kiangalia vitu sasa yuko kwa kona amejificha na simu yake mara unaanza kuona kijana na kuwa na anaongea na ukali ama anadharau vitu zingine hizo ndo some of the signs za kucheki mm. but mimi nimepigai shuli na vijana kuanzia for, for quite a while mm. na success iko success iko number one, e, tunajaribu sana kupigana na rate ya recruitment mm. na hii na come through kuchanua vijana kwanza wako ya aware mm-hmm. so mtaki kumwambia na eh hey, weva na hizi ini nini unakijaribu kuna sasa inafaa tufanye nini ndo you know people are aware about it ndio to minimize hizi mara kuenda kuongea na watu kwa kwa, kwa, kwa mtaa talk to them alafu pia mm. session kama hii ju mm. wait 254 ni watu wengi wanai watch mm. sasa hivi jana wameamka wame, wana watch wana wana cheki mm. unasema kuna vitu mingi sana wamelang kutoka kutoka hapa mm. wazazi pia kuna vitu watakuwa na karada nazo vile kwa naongea ile mtu ya endi endi chuo mtana anaanza kutumia madre mapema unaona mtana anaanza kuwa na madharau fujo mm. mtana uzizi ndogo ndogo hizo ndio vitu ataanza ku, kuangalia na once uko aware mm. ya vitu signs za kuangalia then mteza jikinga raisi what about online influence online pay kona kona factor to play when it comes to this <laughs> tena big sana sasa ndio mama yao sasa big 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 vijana vijana wanapatikana wapi sana hata wewe sasa hii tuko nayo hapa kwa kwa mbulu lakini si uko kwa uko kwa mtandao uko twitter uko whatsapp hata kuna wasee wenye tarehe washa comment wanasema they are watching eh na uko na watu uko na followers wengi so imagine wewe wewe mwenyewe ukiwa radical unajua pia lazima tuko radical na watu wana influence kama wewe rao na natuma kitu alafu exactly eh so kawe sasa hii uki ukiradicalizeiwa wale wako ingize box wao ni zingiza watu wangapi box mtandao alafu unajua mtandao ni discreet kumali unaona ndio niko nakwambia karada na kijana ukimuona gaye sana sana kwa ruma mejificha ndio kienda kwa keja yote it's very important for 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 parents to kusikiza hii kitu Parents wengi siku zangu kwambia kijana wangu ni mzuri ana mambo whether ana kama tuko nyumba kwa bedroom exactly. yake whether ni demo ama chali anakaga tu kwa bedroom computer yake <laughs> hata nilimnunulia tab anaga mambo anakuja tu chini anafungua fridge ama anakunywa ka kichai nini nini kama iko mtani hmm. anaenda anaenda tu kwa shop ananunua ka kitu anakam anajifunge hao ndo blanda jujui nini anaendeleza pale jujui nini anaambiwa na kishengi hizo kuizo chat room Mm. Ai hapo kwanza linasonga haraka. At some point eh, ISIS walikuwa gana over 70,000 Twitter handles. Inafungwa wanafungwa 70,000 hata ikifungwa wanafungwa wanafungwa wengine. Angalia hata during eh, kitu kama Westgate attack. Mm-hmm. Walikuwa na sambaza info yao wapi? Kwa mtandao. Do it too. Eh, do it pia kwa mtandao. Alafu sasa si ni mangati. <laughs> Sio mafala. Mm. Unasikia eh hey, hey, story unatoa wapi? Yeah, yeah. alshabab uko na twitter handle yao na ijua stay same hapa watu wataifollow eh. unasikia <laughs> ewa kuna twitter handle ni tu ni tu itwa itwa hivyo eh tena tu pondoneka so mtanaenda napata update alafu sasa mtu anafanya nini na nawafollow ndio zikiingia so within a short time jamaa amepata sijui ya 10000 followers hapo sasa zile wanafanya wanazidi kuingiza watu woga inabidi unaingia line yao pia pole po mtandao brother mtandao ni blanda lazima so, tukue rada na nini unachekea story unacheki story kama hii ya juzi ya ule boy ali, ali mada family bana madhako madhako mtandao kuna watu wiki mabro wako na masista wako hiyo jamaa hata ukisikia story vile iko jamaa alikuwa ametulia hata ni mtu ana story hata kuna mtu angeimagine vitu kama inaweza kufanyika hmm. lakini nini ile inform mpaka make decision kali kama hiyo eh na, na utafute hata njaro ya ya kuangusha pole pole wote you see all these through media and online hiyo tu mzee kwa kijani vinye amesema kwa room zile vitu ambao watu wanaangalia kwa hizo mafundi so, so parents should be really careful don't just uh, allow at yakai tu kwa bedroom yake rada. anafaa kuwa rada ile deadly kwa sababu eh, whatever will happen hapo unaweza imagine mm. uh, watu wangapi wana access social media sasa hivi Saidi internet eh, kwa mfano vijana wengi wanasema hawana job gavai tupatie internet tunajipata hizo watu tunaingia kwa mtandao ni nini tunatafuta pale ndani hiyo system 
unapata now through nctc now we have some uh, some some platform here because mm. we want kama unatumia media pia tunatumia media we have some platforms where, uh, at the nctc kuna moja inaitwa citizen support mechanism mm -hmm. uh, ambayo ina ina give a lot of information on uh, science of radicalization on any kind of information regarding uh, uh, radicalization terrorism uh, how to counter narratives and so on and so forth na pia inakupatia option ya in an event umeona kitu ime happen ya mse in an event uone mtu mmoja anakaa ameanza kuingia njaro za uh, ameanza kuwa radicalized you can do mm -hmm. to report all in advance mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. tuko na mm -hmm. twitter handle ambayo yetu nitaweza kuipatia na leta ni cs mechanism ara totu za hizi cs mechanism inaitwa cs mechanism hiyo mm -hmm. twitter handle hiyo uh, hiyo uh, platform yetu alafu pia tuko na facebook page mm -hmm. ya citizen support mechanism mm -hmm. ambayo unaweza ukatu follow pale a lot mm -hmm. of information in there mm -hmm. that will help you or guide you either as a parent mm -hmm. as a youth or as a citizen of kenya all right to be able to curb such Eh uh, na pia tuko na website hiyo www.citizensupport.go.ke mm. unaweza ukaingia kwa hiyo website it has a lot of information ambayo inaweza ka guide so right. when you go there make sure that you you know drop in your comments wako online see but to online give us your thoughts hii story tunaiza imaliza aje sana sana unene uko kama youths na ni mbaya mtu kukua there is this problem mtu anasema mimi ni introvert Mm -hmm. you know, how can we be able to reduce radicalization of our youth? Are you a parent? How how has your son or your daughter been behaving? Are you a youth? How can we reduce it? Usipare tu mtu amekata peke yake udhani tu wako sawa. Hapana. Kuna jambo. Ati anajisikizia. Ati anajisikizia. Anajisikizia anasikiza mwingine. Alafu brother ni kwa tuka ku kitu muhimu tusisahau. As much as the issue iko na vijana wengi wameingia kuna hope kuna hope eh, eh kulikuwa na miaka mob eh, mm. kulikuwa na noma vijana wa mwingi walipoteza tu walimebambu wali wako jela and all that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so unapata community mob mali hii kitu ilikuwa inahappen sana watu walikuwa na goa ya ATPU sana mm. but sasa kwa kama uh, kina kevo NCTC mm. wala wanapatia na opportunity ya vijana ku change mimi ni witness ju kuna vijana wale hata different levels vile aliongelea kuna wale walikuwa wako radicalized wana need ku disengage hiyo unajua wa deradicalize hiyo kuna wale wamekuwa extremists unaona kuna wale mpaka wamekuja wameenda mpaka front wame fight na wanataka kurudi home unaona kuna ga opportunities kuna judicial way unajua mali utapeleka kuna vino mkifanya pia ni mingi bado unapeleka kotini na ufungwe na ukifungwa bado uko ndani deradicalization inaendelea unaona na ukamu rehabilitate hiyo sema kuna deradicalization deradicalization kwa sababu una disengageiwa eh. disengaged unakuwa disengaged uh -huh. una then your process inaanza at the tail end kuna reintegration mali utarudishwa ba, bado kwa community kuna wale pia directly wanaingia kwa hiyo process unaona wanakuwa disengaged deradicalized unaoya rehabilitated then reintegrated na sikudanganyi mm -hmm. brother mm -hmm. nimeone mechange watu kwa mm -hmm. kutoka vijana wale walikuwa huko wakitoa noma wakifaitu huko and all that na wamerudi sahi wana mafamili zao wa life yao ni ya poor because mm -hmm. wamepitia process tukenda kwa nc ve nc no nctc nctc uh you umejaribu ku reach out kwa, kwa watu yes mmekuwa na, na public meetings you know Kabisa. um mume, mume engage watu to create that awareness yes. how reception imekuwa vipi reception imekuwa amazing mm. in fact uh, and, and i always love quoting one of the vcs kwa university mm. tulipomwambia about uh, issues of terrorism within the university na akatupatia go ahead ya train university students alituambia hakuwa anajua yeah alikuwa na ni anga terrorism radicalization ni vitu za iraq huko <laughs> sijui za afghanistan hajui nafanyika dia hapa hajui nafanyika nyumbani so that would mean something ya kwamba reception hapo iko very high watu wameanza kujua kwamba uh, tumekuwa tukidanganywa uh, tuki tumekuwa mm -hmm. tukipigwa vako wengine deadly mm -hmm. tumekuwa tukiloose our lives for 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 uh, for the wrong reasons all right mm -hmm. instead ya mimi kwenda kuingia system kwa sasa hizi kuna kuna ma recruitment ya jeshi na na polisi eh mm -hmm. bala mtu aende angangane afaitie country yake unadanganywa unaenda unafaitia uh, different uh, for you go fight for different cause mm -hmm. so right now people understand that fact na watu mm -hmm. wengi wameanza kurudi kabisa unapata reception wa see car size ni moto moto ni moto moto yes. now um religion 
this is uh, a very common denominator amongst uh, violent extremists to kiangalia affiliation to certain uh, religious ideologies what is the role especially for or, 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 of religion you know in this fight sana sana tukangalia radicalization and also the fight against uh, violent extremism uh, i think unajua religion religion vitu zimekuwa since time immemorial mm. na zitakuwa always mm. but kuna watu wale wanatumia dini vibaya na pia in order uweke hao mavijana kwa bo unajua amweze amka tu siku moja twendeni noma uende eh lazima mko na kuna kitu mnaungana juu yake si ndio mm. so hawa tu recruiters wana agenda yao but lazima uingize watu kwa box fulani na patani easy kuweka watu kwa box ya, ya dini jo unajua dini utai hold strong politics ni nyingine dini mtu akisema amesema akisema amesema ndio sawa kuna 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 gavitu tatu very strong hmm. love religion na politics but religion ndiko pale juu juu ni, ni imani au uoni au mm -hmm. shiki au unajua mm. unlike politics ni mtu unaona huni na ninda na tu na tu pale so unaweza <laughs> unaona but dini uioni unaambua hii ni kitu imekuwa hapa over 4000 years unaona na kuna watu wanaigandamiza usipinge jambo twendeni <laughs> so lazima dini inatumika kama box mali watu wanaingizwa inafungwa alafu mna unaambua unapigania alafu unajua dini always imekuwa na rewards kuanzia siku zote unaambua eh hey, ukikufia dini ni better than ukikufa kama ka criminal ama nini <laughs> unacheki so kuna mali ukikufa uta, utaelekea Utaelekea. so ni easy kuweka watu kwa box ya dini hence tunatumia tuna work sana na religious leaders unaona vijana wale wa mishika dini na hata mabuda juu ni muhimu wale watu chochote umeambiwa kidini ukwe na mtula na kama nakwambia pana ukisoma religious text vizuri utaona uja ama kukusomesha yote alikuambia nusu juu au chukua mpaka hizo text unaja whether ni bible ama quran mm. ama nile ya wahindi sita atachukua wanasema nusu awakwambia yote akwambia yote wanakwambia ile pata nyenye unataka eh yeah, anakwambia ile pata unataka ili utasikia alafu wengine awe twende hivi <laughs> unaona <laughs> akikutumia hata quote na kutumizo quote fupi fupi ile ya sumafanya hii unafufanya hii unaona so tunatumia wale watu wako very conscious eh wana kama wanakuambia no hii kitu yote inasema hivi ama na kuinterpretia the right way kwa wengine sana sana ndio na kuinterpretia the wrong way so mm -hmm. dini inatumika tu kama box mali watu wanaingizwa mm -hmm. kwenda kutia noma umenikumbusha kuna verse nyingine yenye uh, in the christian religion mm -hmm. i'm christian mm -hmm. kuna verse nyingine watu maiza wanapenda kutumia enjoy your youth hapo mwisho kuna wengine wanachanga eh kama watu wakiwa sherehe unasikia ah si maji ligeuzo ikakuwa gauge tukateni gauge na wajui bado kuna nafasi nyingine nasema jo wachungana na gauge may destroy kingdoms unacheki eh nyingine nakwambia ah eh hakuna jamaa wise solomon alikuwa na mawifu ngapi eh na kuna nafasi nyingine nakwambia pia karada na mwingi <laughs> wame destroy kingdom so hizo ndio vitu tuna religious leaders who are very very important uh -huh. na key kukamku kujazilia hizo 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 manaratis mm -hmm. juki radicalize hizo so unasa unakumka head yako ni holo wanakam au radicalizers ni masaikologist wa hali ya juu sana ndio vile alisema lazima pia mkuwe na masaikologist pia hali ya juu wale wata count hizo vitu mm -hmm. you talk about this issue religion religion as you say ni box ambayo tumepotelea sana ndani is is there a way that uh, we can be able to you know bridge this gap and create or send the right message especially kwa mtu ambaye amekuwa convinced that according to their religion wana mean that kind of ideology i do want to to, to quote uh, mdosi wangu alisemanga mm. Kenya we are very religious mm ndio unapata lazima kila msema hali anaji affiliate na religion fulani. Mm. So in that regard from NCTC tuliweza ku come up na an interfaith kind of an organization mahali ambapo ikuwe we ni ukuwe ni muislamu, ukuwe ni mkristo, ukuwe ni buddhist, ukuwe ni whatever. 
tumeform yani we want to mainstream we, we want to sharpen the kind of information that you're putting out especially mm -hmm. to those people ambao wanakuwa radicalized on the basis of uh, on the basis of uh, religion so it is very much running ilianza to ilianza side za coastal side even to penetrate even to the other to the other regions mm -hmm. na imefika vizuri sana because before ule pasi ya end anza ku preach kitu pale kwa church all right ile committee sha ka chini unajua ka committee ya rocha committee committee sha ka chini kasema wakaona hapana hii hapa hii ni noma all right ule mse ameanza hizo whatever anafundisha pale sio right food sio right food so wameanza kupitisha hata kama ni kama curriculum yani kama unafundisha kwa kwa church fulani ama kwa msikiti fulani is whatever you're giving is it relevant actually to the needs of what we need as a country to our principles to our principles the values and as i said earlier we are very religious country so let us go back to those values ambazo a religion yetu inasema tufanye and I'm sure those national values yeah. kuna national values na hata kwa hiyo religion yao kuna zile values ambazo ina preach of course yeah. kama kama ni, ni, ni church kuna uh, the gifts of the holy spirit mm -hmm. kuna nini unaona hizo zote those mm -hmm. are values ambazo zinataka ku guide hata ile decision unakuja utakuwa na make so mm -hmm. alafu inaanza mapema kumgezi yetu sunday school bana madrasa yeah. unu kwa chini kitambo yeah. bado brain yao vile alisema mm -hmm. unamoldiwa inaanze huko chini na muliwa mapema huko yeah. ndio inafiangaliwe sana ibadhi tu mkisha kuwa mbigi pia unafuku mingia hata kama ni kwa dini line plan then ukiangalia dini hutumika sana au excuse sana wa gani uislamu yeah. but unauliza wa vijana unaambua oh unaenda kupigia kupiga ni uislamu ama waislamu wanaonea unaenda Somalia ku fight unaenda kupigana na nani Somalia so unaenda kuwa waislamu wenzako yeah. ukienda Syria unaenda kuwa nani so islam mwenzako hata ukikamuku wakitandika kama school akichapa westgate na hata dusit so aliwa pia waislamu wenzao unaona mm. which ni ni, ni blanda unaona kama ile dusit mpaka kuna budalilia alisema jo watu wasiweke wasiweke ama terrorist kwa box yao na na waislamu au kwa box nyingine tofauti so don't believe that any terrorist is a muslim is a muslim true yeah. true true au ni te, tu, tu, lazima we call them for who they are yes. they are terrorists they are not muslims ni vile wanatumia islam kama excuse, excuse na kuingiza watu kwa hiyo box mm -hmm. unaona but mm -hmm. they are not ju waislam wote wangekuwa terrorist <laughs> kungekuwa kukaliki anywhere unaona mm -hmm. how many of them wanafanya mbaka issue za ku counter it wako wengi watu wanapenda nchi yao ni so sad unapata watu wanawatoa hapa unatolewa hapa kama mkenya unaenda una train wa somali una huwa waislam wenzako kwa alafu unarudishwa huku uwe tena watu huko unacheki which ni bland or attack unaoa ma your friends your countrymen and all that it's a high time pia vijana tupende inchi yetu lazima tupende kenya mm -hmm. lazima tupende mm -hmm. na i think mm -hmm. enough in mm -hmm. exactly watu wakiwa pale primary school mm -hmm. wanze kupenda inchi once unapenda inchi yako utataka kuidhuru ama utataka kuona anyone pia anailetea noma mm -hmm. nice sasa saidi unapata wale watu wanakuwa anybody can be radicalized anybody can be a terrorist all right ukisema anybody hata wewe hata wewe so hata hivi tunachungana na wewe mbaya because we in a position to influence eh unaweza hata mimi anybody anybody ile ile format oh muhammad ndio terrorist said jawor ni terrorist said ni terrorist karanja ni terrorist anybody can be a terrorist because ya vile umekuwa socialized na vile ume 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 hang out the, the wrong people at a specific time so anybody can be a terrorist and that's why we are saying hiyo perception ya kusema ati 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 muislamu ndio ako na high chance ya kuwa radicalized it's a lie anybody mm -hmm. can be now we have regions in the republic of kenya kwamba levels of radicalization are very high yeah. uh, for the obvious reasons of course the push and pull that we talked about and uh, uh, the, the, uh, 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 served of course uh, as Rogu had said through ideological uh, means mm -hmm. now ukiangalia pale na uh, most of those places ni metropolitan mahali unapata kabila zote ziko ile place utashangaa sana ukipata uh, OT unashangaa sana kupata uh, karanja pale unashangaa sana kupata madenge yani all these people so this is what we are saying that mm. because anybody can be a terrorist so what do we do what do we do as a country mm -hmm. is to make sure that all the same same information are related to all persons across the country 
mm-hmm. all persons uh, all youths in the republic of kenya ya kwamba kila mse aweza kupata i, i good news ya kwamba as he said kuna hope let oh. us love our country oh nataka tumalize the conversation in this sense uh we are now here at least information may be it may come past uh from from f- 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 uh, for the past few years since to anzeku you know uh this this fight against uh, terrorism counter terrorism and uh, the fight against rag- radicalization but for someone who is watching you at home uh ningependa nipate mtaka mmoja tu ongea na wakenya giving us your final word it has been an interesting conversation but now i want you to speak to them directly huyo mzazi ama huyo youth mnyako hapo hivi ana akikuoch ungependa mwambie nini acha niweze na wewe bobo mimi mimi ndanza na kujana ndio mimi tujana tusitumike vibaya mmm kwa rada usitupishwe rada unaona make sure base mali unakaa watu wana think positively usikuje ukaingizwa kwa noma utajitoa ama kabla jitweta kwa umeumiza watu wengi unaona na wana ni eleo nikiwaambia hivyo mm. na inaanza na noma kama kuanza tu hizo kutumia unajua madre kuingia kwa mra unajua mm. kidogo ma upgrade hivyo ndio mtu upgrade aki akisonga mm. juu mm. na ndaambia msifikirie aweze ingizwa mimi najua vijana wale walikuwa kwa crime violent crime lakini sasa leo kwa wanted wakaenda kwa menda at exit umeenda somo unaona kiafika somo huko una mambo inakuwa tofauti please vijana lazima tukue rada na vitu tunafanya na watu tunakaa nao. Ukiona mtu anaenda kombo kombo, si ati wagi kwa mtiaji. Ambia mtu ambi tafuta adult positive ama mcoaches kwa community, ama mzazi wake alafu mwambie ni aje, uboy naona mambo yake endi poa. Na cheki, yeah. yes, support that couple. Na kwa mm. parents, mm. please please please, ina goes out to all parents, across all uh, social economic uh, unajua divide. Your kids are not safe from from issue radicalization. Usione unishikare mtu yako uko safe. Anaweza kuambia watu wangapi wa mados wamerecruitiwa. Usione unaishi langata South B when you need anybody can be anywhere. Eh, na pia pale mtaani usiona ti kitu ni watu wa mta fulani, atiria fulani iko kila mahali. Don't think you are safe. Usione kijana uko nakaga kwa nyumba ati ni mpole ukiri uko safe. Unaona hii kitu ina cut across na anyone can be recruited anyone tulikuwa na FBI agent ali recruitiwa <laughs> FBI FBI agent FBI FBI. serious eh. so no one is safe so parents no. please please have conversations na watu wengi always jua kijana anafanya nini yuko wapi <coughs> na nani Emanisha tu ni old school parent na maanisha tu you care about you care about them hata hey, kama unaona vibaya hey, na kama hey, na kama uwezi ongea na yeye yeah, yoga aggressive na we sana tafuta a conscious peer bishte yake ule lazima kutoka kwa nakabishte ayuko kwa hiyo line poa unajua enda mm. elsewhere tutafute mtafute nenda kuja hata molo wa mama uko willing kutembea mtu wangu kwa kanti na vijana wetu watakupa taraja doctor yaje utafute ni rais enda tu twitter robo zenda facebook robo robo inbox yangu ah mtu wangu mnakupata heaven your final word good we go back to the basics yani let us be our brother's keeper hiyo ni value christ alipewa na kitambo sana and i'm sure it cuts across all kind of religion let us be our brother's keeper ukiona youth man moja ame ame go out of the norm all right kesho itakuwa ni community in the long run itakuwa ime ita deteriorate uh, those uh, democratic values of a community or society mm-hmm. now first things first tumeona ni very obvious ya kwamba youth it is so easy to influence each other among the youth the yeah. pressure imekuwa ni disaster so let us know the kind of people that we hang out with please 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 sasa hizi kuna watu kuna 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 wetu uh, mambobi mbogi za because we stick together because we take alcohol pamoja we stick together because of the kind of drugs that we take all right but are you your brother skipper in a, in, in, in group to setting peke yake ama inaishi inaishi hapo ama ina extend now kama ina extend to what level does it extend we go even uh, deeper as robot says to to, to the parents wazazi please let us care about our kids i cannot stress that enough because it starts from that family setting knowing the whereabouts ya huyo mtu yameenda wapi kujua mabishte wake 
Alright, choma bisto wa mtu wako. Okay. Wa understand. Ana hang out na kina nani? What kind of values do they have in that kind of a of, of a group uh, uh, setting? So, and bottom line now, by the end of the day, we need each and every person, especially the youth, because as we all as we all uh, all know, we are the future for this country. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. to kiaza kuban uh, relationships, to kiaza kuban uh, na mapema sana uh, uh, ourselves, our democratic right as youth, as young people, in the long run, to who will be here to defend our country. Yeah. So yeah. we need Kabisa to remember that we are Kenyans and mm -hmm. be patriotic and stick to the values of, mm -hmm. our, of our country. That's right. Kevin, yeah. gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Sure. Uh, sure. Interesting conversation. It, the, we need to have such kind of conversations. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, drugs, and you, you, you mentioned it, uh, mm -hmm. it, is, it, it also has a role to play mm -hmm. in this whole conversation. Thank you so much for your your, your presence uh, today this morning. Nibukona Robo Robert Munyewe, Robert Ochola is a countering violent extremist expert and uh, Kevo. Okay. Voke. <laughs> Kevin Jawur, who is from the Protective Security and Defense Department at the National Counterterrorism Center. Gentlemen, you're doing a fantastic job. I wish you the best as we continue. We are fighting on this war against terrorism together. Sindio. This has been Why in the Morning. That brings us to the end of this conversation. The hashtag is Why in the Morning.